The monarchy of Fiji arose in the mid-19th century when native ruler Seru Epanisa Kekabau consolidated control of the Fijian islands and declared himself king or paramount chief of Fiji In 1874, he voluntarily ceded sovereignty of the islands to Britain, which made Fiji a crown colony within the British Empire. After nearly a century of British rule, Fiji became a dominion, an independent sovereign state within the Commonwealth of Nations with Elizabeth II as head of state. After a second military coup in 1987, Fiji became a republic, and the monarchy was ended. Nevertheless, the Great Council of Chiefs recognized Elizabeth II as Tui Viti or the traditional Queen of Fiji, but the position is not one of a constitutional, or otherwise legal nature. The Great Council of Chiefs was disestablished in 2012 by decree. Elizabeth II does not use the title, and the Fijian government does not recognize it. Origins <inaudible> 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 In the late 1840s, the Vunivalu or ruler of Bao, Tanoa Visawaka died 1852 declared himself Tui Viti, which translates as, King of Fiji, or, Paramount Chief of Fiji. It is recorded that he used the title in recognition of his political influence over other chiefly states, for instance in Rua, where he was, Vasu Levu. High-ranking matrilineal descendant, Nidasiri, Kakadrove and Lao, where he had forged strong alliances, and in Makueta, where he was able to effectively intervene in the feuds of the ruling family to establish an ally as Tui Makueta or Paramount Chief of Makueta. As the title was never a traditional one, and as Ba'an influence did not extend to the whole of Fiji, Tanoa Visawaka's claim to it is often viewed by historians as self-proclaimed, driven by astute ambition which would to a certain degree work to the advantage of his successor, his son Seru Epanisa, known as Keikabao, or Destroyer of Bao. Seru Keikabao ruled the short-lived Kingdom of Fiji (1871–1874) as Tui Viti, and the title became synonymous with him. Even before the formation of the Kingdom of Fiji, Seru Keikabao is recorded to have used the title. In 1854, as Tui Viti, he attended a court conducted by Captain Denham of HMS Herald into Keikabao's alleged misdeeds against the Europeans. The usage of the title brought both advantages and disadvantages to the holder. Advantages in that it allowed Keikabao to deal with the Europeans and control the new wealth and technology they brought with them and disadvantages in being held responsible for the actions of Fijians beyond his realm of control. It was the latter in tandem with his claims to the title and European claims for monetary compensation that would contribute to his reasons for ceding Fiji to Britain in 1874. Even though Seru Keikabao was not recognized by all Fijians as King of Fiji, his use of the title, and its recognition by many of the leading chiefs, led European settlers and foreign powers to treat him as a native king. <laughs> Absorption into the British Crown Though Seru Keikabao was considered equal but not necessarily superior by his fellow chiefs, he was recognized as king by the Western powers. In 1874, he was the lead signatory on the deed of session which granted Britain sovereignty over the islands, and it was his efforts that brought Fiji under the guidance of the British Empire. After session in 1874, all historical records refer to Seru Keikabao as only Vunivalu of Bao, or Ratu Seru Keikabao, indicating the title Tui Viti was lost when the sovereignty of Fiji was ceded to the British Crown. When Ratu Seru Keikabao signed the deed of session he also presented his prized war club to Queen Victoria, the British monarch, as a symbol of his submission and loyalty. The presentation of the war club, named Na Tutuvi Kuda Nei Radi Ni Bao the sleeping cover of the Queen of Bao refers to the traditional duty of the Vunivalu to protect the principal wife of the Rokotui Bao and can again be taken to mean Keikabao accepted protection from Queen Victoria and her successors. Neither Queen Victoria nor her successors ever used the title of Tui Viti, but the Fijians considered them kings and queens of Fiji in the traditional sense of Tui Viti, not just in the western sense of sovereign. Topic. Dominion Topic. In 1970, 96 years of British rule came to an end, and Fiji became an independent sovereign state within the Commonwealth of Nations. The official name of the state was the Dominion of Fiji. Fiji 
S head of state was Elizabeth II, who was represented by a governor general and was also queen of other countries such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. The queen S realms were all independent from one another, and the Queen acted independently in each realm, but they shared the same person as monarch. As a constitutional monarchy, executive power was held by a prime minister, usually the leader of the majority party in an elected legislature. The prime minister was appointed by the governor-general. <laughs> Republic in 1987, a series of coups resulted in the overthrow of the elected government of Fijian Prime Minister Timochi Bavadra, and the declaration of a republic. The first coup, in which Bavadra was deposed, took place on 14 May 1987. The Fijian Supreme Court ruled the coup unconstitutional, and the Queen's representative, Governor General Ratu Sir Pene Aganilau, unsuccessfully attempted to assert executive power. He opened negotiations, known as the Duba Talks, with both the deposed government, and the Alliance Party, which most indigenous Fijians supported. These negotiations culminated in the Duba Accord of 23 September 1987, which provided for a government of national unity, in which both parties would be represented under the leadership of the Governor-General. Fearing that the gains of the first coup were about to be lost, Sitavini Rabuka staged a second coup on 25 September, abolished the monarchy on 6 October, and declared Fiji a republic. Pene Aganilau resigned as governor-general on 15 October 1987, and Fiji was expelled from the Commonwealth of Nations for a decade. Ten years later, after constitutional talks and an election, Sitavini Rabuka, who instigated the two military coups, presented a tabua, a tooth of a sperm whale, to Queen Elizabeth during the Commonwealth Heads of Government Conference in Edinburgh, Scotland. This gesture from Rabuka, by now the Prime Minister of Fiji, is a traditional sign of profound respect and was given as an apology for having broken his oath of allegiance to her as an officer of the military of Fiji. The agreed constitution of 1997 provided for a president as head of state of a Fijian republic, with the president chosen by the Great Council of Chiefs, a formal body of mostly hereditary chiefs. <laughs> Current position Though Fiji has been a republic since 1987 and was suspended from the Commonwealth for a second time in 2009, until 2012 the Queen S effigy was still displayed on Fiji's currency and the Queen's official birthday remained a public holiday. In 2012, Frank Bainamarama's government abolished the official birthday holiday, and replaced the Queen's image on banknotes and coins with indigenous flora and fauna. The St. Edward's crown still forms part of the badges of the military and the police. The Queen and the royal family retain widespread affection among the Fijian people, and there have also been sporadic public debates on whether to return to a constitutional monarchy. The motto of the Republic remains, Fear God and Honor the King, or Queen, Fijian, Riri Vaka na Kalu Kadoka na Tui, which was adopted by Keikabao in 1871. The country's coat of arms remain unchanged. In 1998, the Great Council of Chiefs debated Elizabeth II's role as Supreme Tribal Chief. In 2002, on behalf of the Council, the Council's chairman, Ratu Epali Ganilau, the son of Ratu Sir Pene Ganilau, declared that Elizabeth II was still the traditional Queen or Paramount Chief of Fiji or Tui Viti, even though this position no longer conferred any constitutional prerogatives and it was not widely known that she is the paramount chief of Fiji in the traditional sense, only some of the council members remembered her status. The majority of the members of the council were descendants and blood relatives of the chiefs who ceded Fiji to Queen Victoria, Elizabeth's great great grandmother, in 1874. Consequently, while Fiji is a republic, a monarch or paramount chief was recognized by traditional tribal structures. As Queen Elizabeth II has made no official claim to the Tui Viti title, and it is not officially recognized by the current de facto Fijian government, it remains dormant in usage. When broached on the subject of restoration by Sitavini Rabuka during a meeting with the Queen in 1997, her response was simple, Let the people decide. After another coup in 2000, further political tension led to a fourth coup in 2006. 
The Great Council of Chiefs was suspended in 2007, and the Constitution, which gives the Council the right to appoint the head of state from among its members, was suspended in 2009. On 14 March 2012, the Council was formally de established. In the last two decades since Fiji became a republic, the question on restoring the monarchy has not abated. The current Prime Minister Frank Bainamarama displays portraits of the Queen and her consort, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, above his office desk. He has also described himself as a monarchist. I'm still loyal to the Queen. Many people are in Fiji. One of the things I'd like to do is see her restored as our monarch, to be Queen of Fiji again. To date, no referendum has ever been called to decide on the question of restoration. <laughs> List of Fijian monarchs Topic. See also Topic. List of heads of state of Fiji Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Mosesi Belitavo the, of September 2015. the Politics of Fiji, A Way Forward for Atake People. Fiji Sun. Mosesi Belitavo the, of October 2015. Opinion Cleaning Up Our History A Way Forward for Atake. Fiji Sun. Matanitu The Struggle for Power in Early Fiji, by David Routledge, published by University of the South Pacific 1985. The Pacific Way A Memoir, by Ratu Sir Kamasezi Mara, published by the University of Hawaii Press 1990. Fiji and the Fijians Chapter 2 pages 33-34 by Thomas Williams, James Calvert. <laughs>